So I just found the absolute coolest smart USB-C hub that doesn't sacrifice any functionality and has a nice little trick up its sleeve. This is the Dock Case Explorer Edition 10-in-1 Smart USB-C Hub. Let's get into it. So just as the name states, this is a smart 10-in-1 USB-C hub that can be used on anything that has a USB-C connector. So in the box itself, you get two things. You get the actual product or the hub itself, and then you get a nice braided 10 gigabit per second USB-C Gen 3.2 USB-C cable. So it pretty much can handle anything from data output to data transfer to charging, obviously. It's a little bit on the shorter side. It's only about a foot long, but you can tell that it's very premium with a nice braided finish. And it does come in two colorways in terms of the actual dock case hub. You get this nice glossy silver one, which is the one I have. And then you also get a really cool matte black version that is exactly the same, just in a different color. So before we get into the actual ports and specs of this thing, let's actually talk about the design because that's the first thing that really stands out when you see this thing. So this is made out of a nice piece of aluminum and glass. So it fits the Apple aesthetic. It's very iPhone-esque, right? It does kind of match that aluminum finish to a lot of MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros in the silver colorway. And the matte black one is more of a black color. It's not like the midnight black. But the bottom of the chassis does have these four little feet. It gives you all the specs on the bottom with the logo. It's one piece of aluminum all the way around. And then on the top, you get this glass kind of see-through transparency transparent situation so you can see exactly what's going on inside of the actual smart hub which really brings out the inner geek in me because I like to see all the transistors kind of like the motherboard see what kind of chips are in here and yes a lot of it is for show but obviously it does provide some nice functionality because you're able to see what's going on and then in the middle of it which we'll get to kind of towards the end is their smart display which actually gives you a lot of diagnostics of what's going on in real time which makes this my absolute favorite USB-C hub. So to get into the port situation, so you do get 10 different ports. The first one we're gonna to touch on is the actual two host port, which does supply up to 100 watts of power delivery, gives you everything you would need from a video out and data transfer proponent as well. So that is the first hub because that's gonna be the most important one that plugs directly into your MacBook or whatever laptop that you're using with this. And then on one side, you do get your USB-C port, which does do power delivery, like I mentioned, up to 100 watts to pass through to your main computer host. You get an HDMI port, which does support up to 8K 30 FPS if you have the correct HDMI cable and a monitor that supports that. You get a display port, which actually supports up to 4K 120 hertz, which again is very premium. So as long as you have the correct cables for the HDMI and the display port, this thing can be extremely powerful. And then obviously you need a monitor that supports those specs. And then you do get a USB-A port, which is a Gen 2 port. So it does only do about 480 megabytes per second of transfer speeds, but that's mostly there to kind of charge some auxiliary devices and maybe have something else plugged in. And then you do get an ethernet port, which supports up to one gig of speed. So it's not a 10 gig ethernet port, but it is there if you need to actually hardwire yourself in and get an ethernet kind of connection going. And then on the other side, you do get a micro SD and an SD card slot, which is a UHS-2 storage. So it gives you basically as fast a speeds as you want, which I believe is up to 480 megabytes per second as well. You get another USB-A Gen 2 port, the same exact one as the other side. You get a USB-A Gen 3.2 port, which supports up to 10 gigs of transfer speeds. And then finally, you do get a USB-C Gen 3.2 port as well, which does support those same 10 gigs of transfer speed. So you do get a lot of optionality in here. You get HDMI, DisplayPort, USB-C, USB-A. So pretty much any auxiliary device or any peripheral that you would ever need can be plugged into here, as well as, like I mentioned, the monitors and the video out. And then some other things to notice is that you do have a nice little vent right here because it does like to push out any hot air that's in there to make sure that it stays nice and cool, especially if you're kind of pushing it with that 8K 30 FPS, which unfortunately I wasn't able to test because I don't have an 8K monitor anyway. So I wasn't able to test that, but I was able to test the 4K functionality. So as a smart hub, this works exactly as intended, right? I connected it to my BenQ monitor behind me, which does support up to 4K60. It outputted that 4K60 with no issues whatsoever with the right HDMI cable. Again, it does have a display port cable as well. And one thing I do want to mention is that unfortunately still, because this is an M1 and M2 kind of limitation, if you're using an M1 or an M2 laptop like the MacBook Air, you can only output to one external display. This is not a display link ready or display link supported USB-C hub, which is kind of the only way to bypass that limitation on M1 and M2. But if you do have an M2 Pro or an M2 Max or even an M2 Ultra, you will be able to display up to those two or three monitors at the same time. So that still will be able to support it on that instance. It's just if you have an M1 or an M2 MacBook Air, unfortunately you can only output to one display. And then one of the biggest questions with these types of USB-C hubs is that yes, they say it's a Gen 3.2 port. Yes, they say they support 4K60 or 4K 120 or even AK30. They say it supports 100 watts of power delivery if need be, but it's very hard to actually test that out unless you go in and look at the readings, right? You actually test out a hard drive speed reader. You test out the actual wattage going in and out of it. 
But what's nice and what a perfect segue is, is that there is a one inch display, a diagnostic display on the center of this actual glass portion. And what that gives you is exactly what you think it does. It gives you every piece of information that you would ever need to test out exactly what's going on. So when it comes to the actual power delivery, you can test three things with the power delivery. You can test out exactly what wattage your actual charger can support. It'll tell you exactly how much wattage the USB-C hub is taking up, and it'll tell you how much wattage the MacBook Air or whatever MacBook device or host you're using is actually getting. So you're getting all that information in this little mini screen right here. You also get the type of actual frames per second and actual resolution that you're outputting to your display. So you can see with my BenQ display, I was able to output to that full 4K resolution with no issues, and it gave me a real live reading of what was going on. And then same thing with the data transfer, right? If you plug into the Gen 2.0 port, it's gonna be a much slower transfer speed than if you plug into that Gen 3.2 port, which supports up to 10 gigs of speed. The only thing I was not able to test out, like I mentioned, was the 8K 30 FPS, because again, I don't have an 8K monitor to test it out, but I assume that it'll be able to handle that with no issues whatsoever. It just gets a little expensive to buy an 8K monitor, and even the 8K HDMI cable is kind of expensive. But that is what I love about this actual hub. It tells you everything that you need to know at a glance. There's no third-party applications you need to download. There's no speed tests you need to do because everything is in that diagnostic test. And then you can also kind of reformat it because it does give you firmware updates over time when it needs to actually get updated with this little button that actually controls everything on the smart hub itself. But that is everything you need to know about this new Dock K smart hub. It's a 10-in-1. It's the Explorer Edition. They've been known to make these smart hubs before, but this is the first time they're going with an ultra premium 10-in-1. The one before was a 6-in-1, so it was missing like the display port. It was missing some other kind of functionality in there, but they are known for this nice little tiny display. They also have SSD enclosures that have this display as well. So if you guys do want to check out Dockcase, I'm going to link it down below. They do have some great products, and this one is currently on Kickstarter, so it's only $119 right now with that Kickstarter early bird price. They've been able to successfully fund and ship out nine consecutive Kickstarter campaigns, so it's nothing that you need to worry about. I've had a bunch of their products before and I absolutely love them. And again, this thing by Dockcase is absolutely magnificent. It's a great on the go hub. It gives you all the information you need. If you are somebody that's using an M2 Pro, you can display, you can use this as kind of like a desk hub, but then take it on the go as well to get you some extra IO. So overall, I think this is a great solution for anybody that needs an on the go smart hub, has a little bit of a geeky nerd side in them that wants to see all that diagnostic in real time because it's very cool. And that transparent glass is a great conversation starter. But that's going to do it for this video, everybody. Let me know what you guys think with a comment down below. Is this something that you would buy for $119? It will retail for $159. So let me know if you guys think it's worth it at that $160 price point. Always curious to know with a comment down below. If you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin so I know you made it to the end. And if you guys want to watch more iPadOS, iOS, or macOS videos, click on one of these right here. Stay subscribed because we do have a lot of content coming. September is right around the corner. iPhone 15 event is right around the corner. So it's an exciting time. I'll see you guys later.